Slay Studios, the horrific untold history. Chapter One, The Rap. The man in the tweed jacket, monumental spectacles lost in the brill green mire of his remaining hair, sighed from deep within his pronged and pinched waistcoat. Throwing his brow, he finally placed the announcement cone to his serving mouth and proclaimed, That's a wrap. Then, turning 180 degrees in the opposite direction, he placed the announcement cone to his lips once again. That's also a wrap, he proclaimed. At this moment, both sets of actors, both sets of crew, and both armies of tea ladies and branded runners stopped and heaved to collective sighs of relief. Only Slay Studios could produce two different films with two different casts in the same place at the same time. For a combination of ingenuity, discipline, and the best administration that Satan could offer. Films could be produced concurrently for less than a billionth of the cost of a single production by their competitors. This was one of the reasons why Slay Studios had been one of the top 10 horror film studios in the Thames Valley area for 17 of the last 32 years. Only they could light a warehouse to look like a Hungarian castle and an Egyptian bazaar at the same time. An actor could portray Charles Dickens and General Mark Batten simply by changing his hat. The director could change the location from Belle Epoch Paris to a Tibetan Buddhist temple simply by moving a step on it. It was a mysterious alchemy and one that made Slay Studios the envy of the combined film production TV VCR repair world. These two productions, Curse of the Attacking Monsters Curse and The Mad Musketeer of Bangkok, will be released together on a double bill later on that same week. Nobody knew how a studio with a combined staff, two people, and half of one centred crab could be so prolific. Minutes their arrival began to consider the possibility that it might be foul play of a most diabolical nature. But more of that another time. The director sat on a fallaway chair with a glass of prune gin. A chutney and breeze block sandwich, reading the newspaper. After 30 minutes, he stood up and picked up the yarp and comb once again. The next two productions to the stage, please. <laughs> 